Welcome to WebSCM. This video demonstrates the process for registering a new user account to access WebSCM. Before you can access WebSCM, your organization's user administrator must first create a new WebSCM user account for you with appropriate roles assigned. If no account has been created and or you have not received a confirmation email from WebSCM, contact your WebSCM administrator for assistance. You cannot proceed without first having a WebSCM user account. New WebSCM user account registration involves two key steps. Step one is to create a new login.gov ID and link it to the e-authentication e system. Step two is to register your WebSCM account by linking it to your login.gov account and accepting the rules of behavior. When your organization's user administrator creates your account in WebSCM, you will receive a registration email with instructions to create a login.gov ID. Step one describes how to create a login.gov account and link it to eAuth. Step two describes how to register your WebSCM account. Remember this process must be done in a web browser. Now let's go through the step-by-step -step process from beginning to end. First, we will demonstrate step one. Create login.gov ID and link it to the eAuth system. Follow the link in the registration email to the USDA eAuth website. Be sure you start the login.gov account creation from the USDA eAuth website. From the USDA eAuth website, Select the appropriate type of user from one of the three options listed. USDA customers, vendors, and other business partners should select the first option, customer. USDA employees should select the second option and use their LinkPass PIV credentials to access WebSCM. In this example, a USDA customer who does not have an eAuth account will create a new account using the login.gov option. Proceed to create a new login.gov account. Enter a unique email address. To successfully link your login.gov ID to your WebSCM account, the last name and email address must match exactly. Refer to the registration email to see how your information has been entered in WebSCM. Continue to follow the login.gov prompts and instructions to choose your language, accept login.gov rules of use, confirm your email address, create a strong password, and establish one or more multi-factor authentication methods. Once your login.gov account is created, you will be prompted to return to the USDA eAuth system to link your newly created ID to eAuth. Agree to continue. From the USDA eAuth website, choose Customer and then the login.gov option to enter your newly created credentials. Since this new customer does not have an existing eAuth account, choose the second option. Continue without linking to an existing eAuth account. Complete the remaining steps. After your login.gov credential is successfully linked to eAuth, the account information page displays a summary of your login.gov credentials with a green linked checkmark. Your login.gov ID and password now becomes your WebSCM login. Log out and return to the WebSCM registration email. This completes step one. Create login.gov ID and link to eAuth. Next, we will demonstrate step two. Register WebSCM account. From the WebSCM registration email, click your unique personal registration link under Step 2. Navigate through the USDA eAuth website and log in with your login.gov credentials. To link your login.gov ID to your new WebSCM account, you must accept the rules of behavior. If the rules of behavior are not accepted, the WebSCM account will be locked. This completes Step 2. Register WebSCM account. You can link multiple WebSCM accounts to a single login.gov ID. If more than one WebSCM account exists that matches the last name, 
and email address associated with your login.gov ID, you can choose which account you'd like to access from the selection screen. For more information on how to link multiple accounts, please refer to the Multiple Web SCM Account Registration Job Aid. If you encounter an error logging in to Web SCM, review the steps in this video or the registration email to troubleshoot. For further assistance, please contact your user administrator or the Web SCM Service Desk. You may also refer to the Web SCM New User Registration Job Aid. Did you find this video helpful? Use the Report Incident link in Web SCM to report any issues or help us improve by providing general feedback. To contact the Web SCM Service Desk, click the Help Desk subtab to find all relevant contact information. Thank you for watching.